Get back! Heal, you dogs! Heal! My apologies if my pets frightened you. I had to sick them on some poachers. Jiao? Mm. What brings you lot here? <sighs> I see you finally returned to this place, child. You remember it, do you? What's he talking about? This is the lab where the little lady was raised. The laboratory has been abandoned for some time, ever since we had that intruder. I take it that intruder was you, Alvin? Women's intuition, huh? I was investigating the boosters they were making here. What? So it was you. What's a booster? A gadget developed by Ajul to ramp up the mana generated by the mana lobe. Elise is actually holding one right now. Tipo. The Spud's apparently a third generation booster. So, you're just a gadget, Tipo? You have named me Tipo. Pleased to meet you. A booster reads the mind of its owner and speaks aloud his or her thoughts. So, all this time, Tipo was just saying what's on Elise's mind? Just a machine, Elise. No! You're my friend! Nope. You are mistaken. I'm just a device that verbalizes your thoughts. Elise, I'm sorry. Tell us, big guy. Where are lonely little Elise's mommy and daddy? They... They are no longer with us. What? When you were just four years old, your parents were attacked by a bandit and murdered. I'll never see them again. Not mother, not father, not even Tipo. Hey. I know how bad this must... You still have your parents and friends! As if these people could ever understand how you feel. Elise, wait! Ugh, damn poachers again. Hold on. Why was Elise at this laboratory? Well, she was brought here. Sold, really. There was this woman who would gather up orphans and take them to the laboratory. What was her name? I don't suppose it was Isla. Yes, that's it. Isla. A poacher of children, you might say. I have no right telling you this, but please. Never let that child be alone again. Be careful. This place what? is crumbling down all around us. It's as if no human has set foot in here for years. I'll handle this! Always <laughs> Excellent work. Alvin, What a pro in action. Very impressive. You too. I believe we show great promise. How bad is your wound? Well, I failed at the job I was sent to do, and now you guys are here. The wound to my pride might be mortal. 
And now you've betrayed Exodus, too. Yeah, well, don't worry about that. For all you know, I might have even staged all that. You're just the traitor type, aren't you? Yep. That's just who I am. Well, regardless, thanks for risking your life for us. My, my. You really are the honor student type. Yeah, that's just who I am. I don't understand. What did Exodus take from Tipo? Alvin? Answering that would violate the mercenary client privilege, but whatever. I imagine they swiped his data memory. Basically, boosters need a compatible partner, and they said they'd never seen a more compatible match than Elise and Tipo. So I bet the data Tipo recorded is going to be a big deal in the world of booster development. But what does Exodus want with boosters when they already have Spyrex? Sorry, I don't know the answer to that. But we do know one thing. Indeed. It certainly can't be anything good. she doing? She's fine. <sighs> well, as fine as can be expected, given what she's learned. Anyway, this place is dangerous. Let's get back to the city. that giant guy in Elise. Is that her stalker or something? What's a stalker? It's like when someone's super obsessed with everything you do and follows you around. I see. So you would be Jude's stalker, for example. What? Mila, how could you? Doesn't it seem like that man knows the truth about Elise's past? Zhao seemed very concerned about Elise's well-being, but I don't know why. Zhao, you say? I've heard that name before. He might be a warrior of some renown. He has a remarkable talent for controlling monsters. Interesting. There! Something on your mind? Huh? You haven't been yourself since we spoke to Zhao. Yeah.
I heard you followed the bad guys into the hunting grounds. I was worried. Well, it was an eventful manhunt, but we made it back in one piece. I'm so sorry you all got dragged into this. What a horrible coincidence. Isla, you can drop the act. Well, what do you mean? I really was worried about you. Why would I lie about that? Jude, what are you saying? I'm saying it was no coincidence we met Isla. Remember what those locals told us when the bell rang for the finals? At tournament time, any outsiders are either combatants or spectators. <sighs> right. I recall what she said when she came to help us. You folks don't look like you're from around here. What brings you to town? No one here would need to ask that. Not at tournament time. You were ordered to make contact with us. By Exodus. Isla, that's not true, is it? They said you'd never find out. They promised. But I had no choice in the matter. They blackmailed you, didn't they? They know your secret. Your former... occupation. They asked. Wouldn't it be a shame if Jürgen found out? What happened to the girl breaks my heart. But I had no choice back then either. Please don't tell Jürgen. He doesn't know. How could I tell him? He's a good man. But it's all in the past, isn't it? Your fiancé should know these things. You're a woman. How can you not understand this? I'm damaged goods. If he found out about my past, he'd leave me. I finally found happiness with Jürgen. For once in my life. Please. Don't tell him. Please. Hmm. I doubt I'll ever understand human love. It has so many rules and conditions. What should we do, Elise? You decide. Me? Why do I have to? This woman's actions affected you far more than us. There's nothing I can do to make it up to you. But please, forgive me. I just don't care anymore. Elise is all alone now, no matter what you do. <laughs> try to find Jürgen. We need to talk to him about the Wyverns. What's wrong, kid? Isla said there was nothing she could do to make it up to Elise. But did she actually try? Is there really nothing she can do? Isla is the only one who can answer that question. at the Shandu Coliseum. Want to give it a shot? Leia really loves to gamble. Count me out. That's surprising. You seem like the type who would enjoy that sort of thing. Gambling's a big thing in my hometown. I've seen it go wrong time and time again. Oh, come on! We'd just be doing it for fun. The folks who lose their shirts all start out saying that. It's the first rule of betting. If you're just goofing around, don't gamble. If you want to gamble, don't goof around. So, in other words... Only gamble when you're willing to stake everything. Exactly. Little dramatic, don't you think? If you really want to play, I'm not gonna stop you. Just some friendly advice. Alvin sure got serious all of a sudden. Maybe we should take his advice. Yeah, let's skip the gambling. Maybe I should pay a quick visit. A visit to where? Oh, did you overhear that? That's nothing. Just an acquaintance who lives here is all. 